For this green transformation to be successful, we are talking about trillions of dollars. We need all sectors of the economy working together to move the money. Welcome to the CDP Awards Europe, the annual awards ceremony for the world's main environmental reporting platform for cities and companies. The theme at this year's event, Move the Money. Well, let's keep it moving. Major companies and cities gathered in Paris to discuss the ecological transition and to celebrate those who are leading the way to a greener future. Nearly 25,000 public and private entities around the world report their environmental data annually to CDP, an NGO set up to fill the climate data gap. Each year it recognizes the most transparent companies. You know, in the past, before CDP, we are talking a lot, but we had to walk the talk. And CDP is forcing you to walk the talk because there are criteria which are super transparent, which are super demanding. We are also comparing each other with other competitors. And there is this story that we want to reach a AAA. Cities were also recognized for environmental leadership. It was no surprise that Copenhagen was one of those to receive an A score in 2023. The Danish capital is already close to carbon neutrality, but the mayor wants to go further in measuring and tackling the emissions of its inhabitants. In 2025, we'll have reached 84% uh, of our goal to become climate neutral. But the next step is to look at the Copenhagen as carbon footprint. What we buy on clothing, what do we do, what do we eat? Do we do as the Copenhageners like to go on the bike or use the metro system? And we are going to rely a lot on partnerships with citizens, with organizations and with business. This year's theme of moving the money is an important one. According to CDP, our economies do not do enough to encourage the most climate-friendly investments. Packaging leader MM Group, which has gone from C to AAA in just a few years, is witness to these difficulties. We are really committed to science-based targets, so plus 1.5% and cap it with that. Uh, and uh, for this reason, we will have to reduce our carbon emissions by more than 50% until 2031. We are well on our way, but again, we don't see the, the support really in, in financing, uh, in, in, in subsidies. They are very small, they don't make the difference. So sometimes it's economically very difficult to justify some of our investments. Indeed, the greenest investments are often less profitable for the private sector. CDP's reporting system also provides financial institutions with the data they need to allocate funds to sustainable investments. We know that there is a transition pathway. There is also some uh, physical risks pertaining to climate change. And this can have very immediate and material impacts on price stability, financial stability. So what we do there is to try to set the right conditions in order to fund the transitions and to assess as well the risks in order to address them ex ante and not ex post when it would be too late. According to estimates, an investment of $4 trillion a year for the next 30 years is needed to meet net zero targets. But the CDP says the efforts made by most companies are still insufficient overall, partly because of the lack of high quality data available. When you think about moving the money, as the theme states this year, actually we think about financial services, we think about access to capital, and absolutely what we're seeing is investors are asking more and more about what data they need in order to make risk-based decisions. And it's not just about moving the money in the traditional ways through capital markets or financial institutions. Procurement, buyers, they are really looking at how it is that they can manage their supply chain. That's a huge amount of money that can be moved if you're thinking about moving into your value chain and thinking about how you can encourage lower emissions. According to the latest CDP report, more than half of corporates in key high-emitting sectors report access to capital as a key concern in decarbonization efforts. Each year, more and more companies disclose their data to CDP. The NGO invites the remaining companies to report their data so that we can better measure our environmental impact and act accordingly.